playing with the public emotions and stealing their passwords, I love you, sometimes referred to as love bug or love letter for you, infected in just 10 days over 50 million people that got an email with an anti-sync subject. I love you. Later on, the virus was found to be a computer worm. A computer worm is a standalone malware computer program that replicates itself in order to spread to other computers. It often uses a computer network to spread itself, relying on security failures on the target computer to access it. It will use this machine as a host to scan and infect other computers. When these new worm invented computers are controlled, the worm will continue to scan and infect other computers using these computers as hosts, and this behavior will continue. Computer worms use recursive methods to copy themselves without host programs and uh, distribute themselves based on the law of expansions growth controlling and infecting more and more computers in a short time. Worms almost always cause at least some harm to the network, even if only by consuming bandwidth. Whereas viruses almost always corrupt or modify files on a target computer. Going back to the virus, it wasn't long before everyone realized the love was a lie and that opening email attachments could lead to serious trouble, and that the I love you virus was trouble. What made this virus particularly sneaky is how it worked. Once the email was opened, the virus corrupted images, music, and other files on the computer, grabbed the person's contacts, then sent the same worm to all their email addresses, making it the first widespread worm capable of self programmation through email. From there, the social engineering aspect of the virus helped spread it like wildfire. Once the virus got a hold of legitimate contact information and sent the malicious email to recipients who knew the sender's address the malware was only more likely to be opened. The I Love You Virus Origins The I Love You Virus was launched in the Philippines by Onel de Guzman. Although the virus crippled computer systems all over the world, including those in international government offices, there was no law against hacking in the Philippines at the time. So even though they'd been caught and their identities were known, they'd broken no laws and had to be released. There has been some speculations that uh, De Guzman launched the virus in response to a rejection of his uh, undergraduate thesis, where he struggled that a solution to the lack of internet access within poorer communities would be a password-stealing Trojan virus. The language used to create the Alavi virus, VBS, known as Visual Basic Script, was easy to decipher, so copycats launched nearly instantly. However, since the initial explosion was so high profile, the subsequent version weren't able to spread nearly as quickly, or do nearly the same damage. Chaos the worm originated in the Pancan neighborhood of Manila in the Philippines. On 4th May of 2000, thereafter following daybreak westward across the world as employees began their workday that Friday morning. Moving first to Hong Kong, then to Europe, then finally the United States, the outbreak was later estimated to have cost US. 5.5 to 8.5 billion dollars in damage worldwide and estimated to cost uh, US 10 to 50 billion dollars to remove the worm. Within 10 days, over 50 million infections had been reported, 
and it is estimated that 10% of uh, the internet connected computers in the world have been affected. Damage cited was mostly the time and effort spent getting rid of the infection and recovering files from backups. To protect themselves, the Pentagon, CEA, and the British Parliament and most large corporations decided to completely shut down their mail systems. At the time, it was one of the world's most destructive computer-related disasters ever. Why was the virus created? I Love You was created by Onel de Guzman, a college student in Manila, Philippines, who was 24 years old at the time. De Guzman, who was poor and struggling to pay the internet access at the time, created the computer worm intending to steal others' users' passwords, which he could use to log in to their internet accounts without needing to pay for the service. He justified his actions on his belief that internet access is a human right and that he was not actually stealing. The worm used the same principles that De Guzman had described in his undergraduate thesis at EMA Computer College. He stated that the worm was very easy to create, thanks to a bug in Windows 95 that would run a code in the email attachments when the user clicked on them. Originally designing the worm to only work in Manila, he removed these geographic restrictions out of curiosity, which allowed the worm to spread worldwide. De Guzman did not expect this worldwide spread. The ending to the I love you virus. To the credit MC AFI, an antivirus software was the first to release signatures to identify I love you virus. Ultimately, because this virus was the first to cause massive destructions and the first to be visible, public awareness of the real threat of malware was broadened and antivirus software providers entered a golden area of disruptions. Today, although malware infections usually happen silently, the Alive virus helped make many people more skeptical of the classic virus, delivery systems and email. Today, fewer people open emails from unfamiliar senders and are often suspicious of attachments. Moreover, antivirus softwares, features from companies like I'm not gonna put their names because I don't want to misspell the names, so yeah. Create solid protection from threads that easier from diverse locations like chat rooms and social media. In the end, the I love you virus might have created a global flurry when it was first launched. But by today's standards with credit card and identify thief, it seems almost quaint. Well, that was it with the uh, I love you virus. This is my first ever video like this, so let me know in the comments if I should make more of this type of content. Thank you all for watching, till the end, and goodbye.